come and sit in a comfortable pose. Easy cross leg position. Hands on the knees. Close your eyes. Sit straight. Feel that the spine is strong. The rest of the body is soft. Let the breath sinking down long and deep. And then bring your hands together and give your respect and gratitude for the place where you're now. The time yourself in everything, everything, everybody around you, and the teachers, uh, the gurus, the wise men, women who pass the knowledge, wisdom. That you can learn from to feel better, to be better, and to create a better world around you. And then open your eyes and bringing your soles of the feet together we start again in a big Konasana. bring your chin down and you roll slowly down one by one for the breath and come in a rounding spine and we stay five minutes so Feel if you need some support on the knees or maybe on front of you so that your head can rest down. The breath is soft, but pay now attention to the body and make a body scan to feel your feet, how the feet are making contact with the floor under you. How the toes are doing, the soles of the feet, heel, the ankles, only feel, scanning, and then you go up, the other legs, calf muscles, shins, how they are doing. Are they making contact with the floor? And feel the clothes around. And then go to the knees. Feel the knees. Feel inside the knees. And then you go up to the legs, upper part of the legs, the front, side, back, and on the outside. And what do you feel there? Is it tension, fatigue, tiredness? or resistance, stress, fear, pain, what kind of pain, shooting pain, more pain who is more softer, Good continuity in the pain, to observe and then go to the hips how the hips are feeling and the relation between the hips pelvic and lower spine what are you feeling there it's okay mm -hmm. So maybe you can bring your feet closer, more closer to the pubic bone. 
like 10 centimeters, a little bit more. So see if you can go up and around here to bring it more. So when you have problems in the knee, then sometimes it is nicer to have your feet closer to the pubic bone. But when the hips are very tight, then it's nicer to have your feet more forward. So see what you feel. And when you feel it's not okay, then change it. Don't worry. Trust what you're feeling. So uh, when you are again in a comfortable way, then start to feel the spine. Feel the vertebras. Shoulder blades, head, the forehead resting maybe on your feet or a block or cushion. And start to breathe. Breathe to the places where you had some issues, pain, tiredness, resistance. And then, on the next exhalation, slowly coming up again. And then inhale and stretch the legs and take a moment to lie down. So lower down, low, low, lower down all the way on the mat and feel. Let the vertebra sinking down, coming in neutral again. And then bringing the right knee to the chest. And on exhalation, you bring the right knee to the left. And bring the left leg a little bit more to the middle so that you are in a straight line or a little bit hollowing in the spine, in the lower spine. And then bringing the right arm all the way to the side or more diagonal line backwards so you feel opening by the chest area. And slightly your head turning to the right and with the left hand there you can hold the right knee. And when you need support, you can bring something under the knee or something under the shoulder. And then again, feel. But now focus on the breath. Feel how the breath goes in and out. Feel the belly. And every time when you exhale, let go. Let go of tension. You can imagine that you are very heavy and you're falling down. You're falling in a posture or imagine that you feel the gravity really pulling you down and this pose this twist is very nice when you have a long day working in the office sitting down It's opening the chest area and you're stretching at the upper spine, the torical spine. And you release some tension in lower spine and SE joint. And also very nice is that this pose is stimulating the breath coming down into the belly. So that's giving you already more rest, more relaxation. 
in the body, but also in your mind. Stay observing and every exhalation you let go. Uh, you let already go of the exhalation, the toxins of the breath, carbon dioxide. So letting go of everything what you want, stress, things you have to do. Letting go, worries for future, letting go, you are here this moment. Thoughts are coming, don't worry. Look at it. Make it clear. What is it? And when it's clear, you let go with the out breath. And you come back in the moment. And yourself, your body, you feel. Exhalation. You come slowly back. You're bringing the knee to the chest. And bringing also the other leg to the chest. And hold on with your hands and roll a couple of times. Left and right. Do the other side. So bringing the left knee to the chest and then roll over to the right and right leg comes more to the middle so you feel that hollowing in the spine and then now with the left hand you're opening, you turn your head and you let yourself sink in down again. Again, observe, and maybe you feel some difference in the pose. A difference between the left and the right. Different areas in the spine are easier to twist or harder to twist. So observe again. But the important is that you don't just let it be. And make sure that you are lying comfortable. Otherwise, use some cushions under your knee or arm, shoulder. But the important is that you feel a stretch. That you feel that there is something going on in the body. Find a comfortable stretch. And then and your attention goes to the belly. Feel the movement going up and down. Go. 
tension in the body, tension in the mind or heart. Letting go. are rising again, that's normal. But the important is that you stay here, that you look at it, and that you don't uh, go with that emotion or go with that thought. You stay here and you look at it. As long as you want, as long as you need, but you stay, have that clarity of mind that you are here, in the here and now. And that, that thought or that emotion you can let go. And that emotion what you are feeling, it's there, it's real. But it's not forever. You are not in person with that emotion and you have the key to come out of that emotion simply to have that mind state that you are here and that the emotion is maybe connecting with some happening in the past or maybe past lives But you are here, this moment, just only to see it, make it clear, accept it that it is here now, but then and you let go and you come back, and you feel your body, you feel the breath, you feel the mat under you, you feel your clothes. Are you comfortable with the temperature of the room? What kinds of things like that. So you bring yourself back in a moment. So you're not attached to that thought or emotion. So learn to let go. And slowly coming back on the spine. Bring again the knees to the chest, the hands, the knees and make a couple of circles. Left and right. Good, and then stretch the legs up in the air. Bringing your hands under the lower spine, so with the palms down, yes. And bring them all the way under. And then lifting your head and shoulders, lower the legs and then you rock slowly up. Good. And then come on your hand and knee position or all fours. And you're spreading the knees a little bit wider. Yeah. The toes are together, so it's you bring your feet together. Yes. And the knees a little bit more out. Yes. And then bring the weight a little bit backwards, like extending child's pose, or in uh, the, the position of the samurai, but I call it sleeping samurai. So this is sleeping samurai, but oh, we can do this for three minutes. To let go and to have a little bit, or actually two minutes, to be... Uh, really able to sink in your hips and the inside and go and then after this two minutes we go working on the arms uh, the fingers, the wrist, the muscles from the arms the 
muscles are very important but when you have a office job working behind the computer so they need also some stretch and stimulation of prana chi but now pay attention to the hips see if you can let go and notice if the knees are wide enough or maybe too wide when you have knee problems then you can bring something under your buttocks like a blanket or a cushion so that the knees are not all the way bent you have a little space between the knees and let the belly drop down and the breath is again deep down and the breath is always the base the foundation stay breathing feeling and then one more breath and slowly coming up so you're coming only with with your uh, chest up yeah good like uh, you are here and then you lean on your arms so you lean a little bit backwards when you have problems in the knees so you bring a cushion under your so and then we start with turning the fingers uh, to the legs or to the pubic bone and find how far you have to put them or how close. Uh, closer is easier, farther is more stress. Probably you feel that, eh? Yes. Good. So because the arms are not used to have weight and stretch on it, so we do only three minutes to stretching uh, the connective tissue on the inside and the heart line is there from the little pinky goes all the way up and from the thumb the lungs so heart and lungs line and stay breathing breathe all the way into the wrist especially where you feel pressure and see if you can let it go so here you are allowed to hang a little bit in the shoulders, you are allowed to hang with your head down. So maybe let the head down, see how it is, if you have it down. Otherwise when the neck is painful and you rather like to have your head straight, you can have your head straight. With the legs open and the stretch work you feel on the inner thighs, that's the liver line. So probably you can focus now more on the arms than the legs. And Dive in that sensation, what you feel in the arms, hands, fingers. And that stretch, that opening and uh, stretching out of that tissue. Giving more space there. Stretching that tissue and the molecules in the tissue, the hyaluronic acid molecule. So that when you go out, the water molecules are getting more in a thicker, stronger line to the tissue. So 
there the chi, the prana, can flow through. That divine healing power. And especially with the heart line, now from out the pinky, go into the heart area. And there you have healing power. Slowly coming with the weight backwards, take it easy because the wrists are feeling probably that they are dying. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'd like to move a little bit that they are still alive. But we do one more stretch for the wrist, and that's I call it the monkey position. So you put and the back of your hands down and in the beginning your elbows are bending a little bit that's to to let the pressure coming out of your wrist and when you are easier with it you can stretch the elbows and turn the elbows in and you roll a little bit the shoulders backwards but you are allowed to hang again with the head down and again three minutes and you feel now uh, the front of the wrist stretching Allow yourself to sink down, to have pressure on the arms. And when the inner thighs are too sensitive, when that's not happening for you, or maybe only three minutes and then it's enough, you can always sit in easy cross leg position and then put your wrist or your hands on the back down. And then you can also play with the pressure when you lean more backwards there's less pressure and when you lean forwards you make the pressure more and now we stretch it more in the big intestines by the index finger close up and also on the front of the little pinky it's the small intestine Small intestine and heart are a couple, and, and the lungs with the big intestines are a couple. And then the middle finger and the ring finger, there we have also the pericardium and the triple heater. And they uh, have a kind of connection with the energy lines down with the gallbladder and liver When you feel, oh, I want to go out, first feel why you want to go out. What is it? Is it the busy mind who want to go out? Or is it really what you feel? That there is really sensations and inflammation and that you have to go out. And learn to listen the body. What is it saying? Or is it only one to have some attention? So give that attention to yourself to feel and not running away all the time in your thoughts or in emotions. Take good care of your body to listen. And then slowly coming out. And again, yeah. first they feel that they are not yours anymore. <laughs> and play a little bit piano. And then bringing the knees a little bit out again, like the summer rising. Yeah, a little bit also more there. And then you go backwards. And most people, they need, I will show you a little bit how you can do it. 
And they need some cushions on the back. And maybe we do this one also. And then you go lying down. So Hendrik probably don't need the cushions. But now you have an idea how you can do it at home. And take a couple of cushions, put it on the back. When you have knee problems, put something under your heel and the buttocks. So you have more space in the knee joint. And then you go hanging backwards with the arms overhead. Because again, then we're working in the lines of heart and lungs. And the lines who are also working in the wrist. So you want to opening on the front. You want to work in the lower spine. The back bending because uh, after a long day sitting most people are sinking in so people who are sitting all day they need more back bendings and this is a very nice one a good back bending well you're also stretching the quadriceps and stretching uh, the iliopsoas by the hip flexors now I will put first the timer So when you are in it, then with some people who has a very, like I call it a robot skeleton, a very uh, straight line, then it's working with the legs all the way to the front, that the knees and hips with the arms are making one line. But most people are not shaped like a robot, they are organic. Think about the flower. And when a flower is opening, and they opening like the, 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 the leaves to all the sides. So you can see it also with the back bending. And like when we are a flower, and the, the middle of the center of the body is a little bit below the navel. And there's also the body gravity. And there and we open. So when the legs are going a little bit out, when the arms are going a little bit out, and that's good. That's feeling good. When you are staying with the legs too close, there's too much pressure on the front by the hip flexors, why the lower spine is getting too uh, much hollow, and the SE joint is pulling out of each other. And I know that some people say when the legs are open, you give more pressure to the SE joint. But uh, that's also a good argument, maybe it's good, maybe it's wrong. But I know that with most people it's working like this. That you fixate the SE joint, so the center of the body is fixating. And there you can open. So see what's working in your body. So when the knees are going out, let them going out. Don't worry, don't force it. See what your body is telling you. And then surrender. Surrender to the pose. Letting go. That's good, was my head didn't turn off. And when the arms are getting too painful, or when you feel that the blood is not flowing well, so you get sleepy arms, and then you bring your hands on your belly. Or maybe first try to be the arms more on the side, or more lower, and then bring back on your belly. This posture is not working for you when the legs are not one to bend like this. Then do this posture with the legs straight so you lie down with the cushions under your middle spine and upper spine and with the arms overhead so you're opening the chest. Good. And then slowly coming out, bringing the arms first back. And then using uh, the abdominal strength to come up and then remove the cushions and then coming lying down all the way. Oops. Yes. So lying down. 
and letting go and feel the sensations in the body. Getting familiar with the heartbeat. blood circulation, pumping, warm, tingling in the body. And then the chi, the chi is cooler or bubbling, feeling like water, rivers in the body. So getting one with that feeling. Oneness with the source. Namaste. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day of evening and good sleep. Goodbye.